I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years, but a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Okay guys, so that intro video really sets the tone for the world that The Witcher 3 is based on. It's pretty dark. So before we get started in the Let's Play, I'd like to ask a question to the viewers. So there's multiple ways to play Geralt of Rivia, and I'd like to know how you play. So if you've played The Witcher 3 before, you know that there's a variety of weapons and armor that you can use, so I'd like to know how do you play through. Typically I do a melee build with a few signs and a couple alchemy skills, but what I, what I normally gravitate towards is, is more of a melee build, um, and that's kind of what I do. I get the cat school gear, I get the light armor, I go for maneuverability, and attack power. Um, and that's basically what I do. So I'd like to know how you guys play through your Witcher 3 and what build you normally gravitate to, towards. So uh, yeah, let me know below. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get started here. So we're gonna do a new game. We're gonna do a new game plus on Death March difficulty. I'm truly insane and loving it. <laughs> we're gonna simulate the Witcher 2 save. And now all I need to do is grab my save file and launch ourselves into this game. So the first couple. I guess first 10 minutes or so are basically watching, um, so I'll try to refrain from speaking during those videos, and um, or during that portion. So afterwards we're going to jump in and uh, we'll begin the Let's Play. Uh, before we do that, really quickly, I'd just like to say um, 
thank you for tuning in, and I'm looking forward to bringing this Let's Play to you guys. Um, I'm, I'm really going to enjoy playing through this game for the sixth or seventh time. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's buckle up and head into the game. Now I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings.
So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Okay guys, so here we go. Our first little bit of gameplay in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Character entry added. Yennefer of Vengerbert. So that must be Yennefer. And actually, if you've read the books, or if you haven't read the books yet, I highly recommend that you read them. Um, you learn a lot more about each character's background and where they've come from, and it kind of explains better, you know, you get a better idea of each of the characters in this game. And how they are the way they are. So, we're gonna get going here. Let me go outside and check out the mountain pass. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Wow, the graphics in this game are absolutely stunning. So we're in Kaer Morhen which is the Witcher Stronghold, the Wolf School, the Witcher Stronghold. Someone down there is practicing. Very cool. Okay, so. So in the top right, we have our mini-map. We also have uh, the quest objective, which right now we're in the Kaer Morhen quest, and it says use your Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. So, this is a perfect opportunity for me to show off the mod that I have that modifies my Witcher senses. So, when I right click, I go into my Witcher senses. So what that does is it'll highlight objects of interest in the room. Now, what's different about what my mod did is it basically took away a fisheye effect and it took away the zoom in effect of going into the Witcher senses. So basically you can see everything that you would normally see just with a heightened sense. Um, and I really like this mod for that purpose. It, it really it helps to not break the immersion as much. So, I guess we gotta find a key. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. I'm stuck with something. Interesting. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... I want to stay with you more. I missed you. A lot. And I missed you. But we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her. Then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Oh, that's adorable. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. <laughs> Alright, where's this key at? Oh, it's probably on the book there, but let's see what this is first. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Okay, so we got the key, so now we gotta go to the lower level. Thank you. 
So before I trigger the next cutscene, I'd like to say that uh, once I do get a chance to actually show my build off and explain the character build that I'm going for, I'll do that. Um, but there's a lot of cutscenes and things we need to watch before that. So here we go. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. <laughs> Don't get mad at her, Uncle Vesemir. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It better not. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if 
But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. You're not gonna weasel out of this one. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. He does have a point. She is a sorceress. <laughs> in the dream, I went and found Ciri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The Wild Hunt appeared, attacked Ciri, 
I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Oh, <laughs> he means that unicorn. Uh, that's private. That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. And it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Okay, so before we hop in this fight, um... I'm gonna make sure everything that I have is ready to go. We're using split bolts. That's fine. Okay, I think we're good. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Man. <laughs> so, uh, really quick, now that I have the time, I can actually go in to my character and explain the, uh, explain the build I'm currently using. So, this is the build that I'm going to be using for this Let's Play, uh, at least right now, until I get more experience points and I can get better skills. But I think for the most part, this is how I usually gravitate towards playing The Witcher 3. So, like I said before, primarily a melee build, um, with a few signs and alchemy skills as well. Um, so, if I go through the skills here really quick, um, first off, I've got Muscle Memory, which increases my fast attack damage. I've got Precise Blows, which increases the chance of hitting a critical, and it also increases the fast attack critical damage by 75%. And then here I have Crippling Strikes, so fast attacks now apply a bleeding effect. Which is really helpful when you can hit an enemy, make them bleed, and step back, and then you can re-energize re uh, re your shield or whatever. Over here I've got Whirl, which is a spinning attack that I used a little bit there. I've got Rend, which is a two-handed powerful blow. Basically it's a downward blow with two hands. Um, and then I have a counter attack. So this is a really nice one because basically if someone attacks me, if I counter them or parry them, 
My next attack deals 30% more damage. Um, and it's a critical with a chance for a knockdown. So this is a great ability to have. Moving on to signs. Um, Ard is the sign that pushes things out of the way, so I wanted to increase the range of that. And then Quen is your shield. So if you do exploding Quen, whenever an enemy hits you, your shield will explode and it should knock them back. An active shield was the big bubble that I put around myself that I exploded, which is another version of Quen. It's an alternate use of the sign. And then Delusion is a really good one to have for Axie, which is basically you can influence your will on someone. So in a conversation, it'll come in handy if I really don't want to fight them. I could say, hey, back off. Um, under Alchemy, the one I have right now is Poison Blades, so an oil applied to a blade gives 15% chance of poisoning the target on each hit. So this is another great way to put an oil on, on a weapon and hit an enemy, and if they're being poisoned and they're taking damage, I can take a step out of combat for a little bit, and I can re-energize my Quinn to go back in and fight. And then here I have the Cat School techniques, which, like it says here, each piece of light armor increases the critical hit damage by 25%, and fast attack damage by 5%. So, overall, this is the kind of build that I usually go for. I'm quick, light on my feet, um, and I'm strong with my normal attacks. And also, I've used mutagens here to further amplify my attack power, my sign intensity, and my vitality. And that's pretty much all I have for that. Now, going over the gear that I have, like I said in my introduction to this Let's Play series video, um, I'm using a level 50 character, uh, imported, and I did give him how where I usually end up at after the normal game. I usually end up having Mastercrafted Feline Armor, and I usually have the Mastercrafted Swords as well. Now on the Swords, on the Steel Sword, I have the Triglav Rune Stones, which increase the chance for stun, which is really good if you're fighting humans. Uh, really useful when you can stun a human on an attack. Um, I also have the Feline Silver Sword uh, with the Devana Rune Stones, which cause a chance to bleed. So if a monster, you hit a monster, you can make it bleed. Which really helps uh, kind of give you time to think about how next to attack. And then all my armor, I have Quen Sign Intensity Glyphs, so my Quen is going to be my powerful sign. Um, and the reason I do that is because, well, it's armor and it's a shield magical ability. So. It's really useful to energize that and make sure it's really strong to keep me alive in fights, especially when I may be fighting against more than one enemy. And that's all I have for now, so I think now all I need to do is jump into the, back into the game here. I'm going to loot these corpses and then we're going to head on into town. That's good. Also, there's something over here glittering. Oh, it's the skull from the bird from the the, the preview video. Bird skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. <laughs> so there's a thing on this uh, tree I wanted to read really quick. Okay. Bandits calling themselves to marry soldiers are hiding in the nearby woods. They've been declared outlaws and a threat to the Emperor's subjects. Assisting or sheltering them in any way will be summarily punished to the fullest extent permitted by Imperial law. Okay, so this is, this is a reference to the war that's happening. Um, a southern kingdom, the kingdom of Nilfgaard, has invaded the northern realms. Temeria, Edirn, I don't really remember all the other ones, but there's a ton of northern realms that are now under siege. So my horse is War's not Roach. exactly going our way. We have a sign. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? 
Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Oh. Well, you didn't technically hire us, so... I'm gonna say no. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said... Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. He just ran his horse oh, right into the thing. Oh, 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 oh. Hey there. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Thank you. 
witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? Who is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Hey, I got some nice roasted chicken legs from that. Let's ask her if there's a contract on the griffin. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And as soon as they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Let's see if she's seen Yennefer. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. I'll do just that. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Yeah. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. So I love how Vesemir told me to keep a low profile, but... I've got bright white hair. I'm walking in with bright blue armor. Very ornate weapons. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try and keep a little profit. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna talk to these guys because they're pieces of shit. That's obvious. Waste of words. Don't have time for your kind. Smart. Nor do we have time for yours. I never understood why peasants would be hostile towards a guy walking in with these kind of weapons just hanging out. A Witcher can run you through just as good as anyone. There are four factions. Four? Factions! Teams! Suits! Similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in, me noggin. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? 
Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Yeah, you should probably not do that. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend, no tenure to gain, end notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. <laughs> oh, he just puts it so plain. I'm kind of done with this guy. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. So he doesn't tell me how it's done, we just hop right in. Okay, so Gwent in The Witcher 3 is the mini game that you use. In the other one there was gambling poker dice. Um, and now this is an actual card game. And actually, uh, CD Projekt Red made their own standalone Gwent game, or they're working on their own standalone Gwent game. So I'm going to try and play this as much as I can in uh, this Let's Play. So we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to get rid of some of these. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play one more card and then I'll wait and see what he does. I might let him win this first round and then I'll try and catch up. He's got one card left. I forgot what the special ability here is. Oh, the potential facade. Okay. So I'll win the game now. He ran out of cards.
Hey, we won. Well, well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepper. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Oh, okay, so I have this book now, A Miraculous Guide to Gwent, that basically tells me how many cards and where the cards are that can be won. So I think I'm also going to get a quest that basically is to collect all of the Gwent cards in the game. Um, and that's going to be a quest that'll be ongoing. Yep, collect them all. So basically what this quest is, is it says complete your collection of Gwent cards. So over the course of this game, uh, Gwent is kind of how you interact with some people, so uh, I'd like to build my deck and get good at it. And actually, later on, there's a few, t excuse me, there's a few tournaments that you can play um, with the Gwent Gwent cards, the Gwent deck that you have. So, I need to change the quest back to Lilac and Gooseberries. I think there's one more guy I need to ask about. For Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Sure. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. I didn't tell him her name. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. <laughs> Who is this? What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodin at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Interesting title. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Okay, so have you seen her? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Of course it is. Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Where'd he go? The guy just disappeared. Oh man. Okay. So, I guess the only thing to do now is go and look for Yennefer. I'm still not at full health, so I'm gonna eat something. Uh oh. Done drinking. Mm hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <laughs> I want the ladies just like, oh no. So this is why I put three points in Delusion, because I don't really want to fist fight three people, three against one. 
haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you done nothing. Horsel's working witchcraft. Get him! Here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's go. I'll never understand why peasants want to pick a fight with a witcher. <laughs> So, this is actually a pretty good place for me to stop before I get going on further in depth into the story. So, first off, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in to this first gameplay video. Um, I'd like to mention again that this is my very first Let's Play, so if you have constructive criticism or any ideas or anything you want me to try and cover in this game, please comment below and I'll do my best to try and accommodate that. And, uh... Yeah, thanks again for tuning in to my very first video in the series. I look forward to doing the next one, and uh, good luck on the path. Alright guys, that'll do it for my first Let's Play video in the series. If you liked the video, please hit like below. If you'd like to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, that's cool too. I'm looking to put out a new Let's Play video or two a week until I'm complete with this game. So if you like what you saw, great. If not, please leave me a comment below on things you'd like to see changed. See you on the next video.